Hello, it's me, Brendan Burns, aka Ratty Rockman from YouTube, and I'm going to be doing another DVD review tonight. Uh, it's a, I'll give you a clue already, it's a Mel Brooks classic comedy 80s, but which Mel Brooks classic comedy 80s movie I'll be reviewing? Let's see. Da 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 da, space ball. <laughs> yeah, space ball. Mel Brooks's comedy version of Star Wars and a uh, half Star Trek and, and even The Wizard of Oz, but this is a cool uh Mel Brooks classic eighties movie. It's about this planet space followers who are bad guys and they're trying to steal air from planet Gerudia. How you ever however you pronounce it because you know they're bad guys and they want air. They're losing all their air oxygen and Mel Brooks plays two parts. First, he plays a uh, President Screw, the evil president of Spaceballs, and uh, he plays the uh, Yoda, the yogurt. Yeah, I always like that part where he plays yogurt. May the Schwartz be with you. And uh, Bill Pullman, he's the Luke Skywalker slash Lone Star. Lone Star. You know, he's the, he's the hero, and John Candy plays Barf. He, you know, the Chewbacca of, the, of this movie, uh, yeah, he's his friend, and uh, they got a rescue princess, Vespa, uh, yeah, I think her name is Vespa, could be wrong, played by Daphne Zuniga, she's the, you know, uh, oh, Lord, I forgot, oh, God, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Daphne Zuniga, she plays a princess, Vesper, Vesper, however how you pronounce that, you know, the, she's the Princess Leah of that movie. And, uh, of course, Rick Morantes as Dark Helmet. Dark Helmet. Rick, Rick Morantes, he's funny in this, um, you know, Dark Helmet based on Dark Vader. In this one, he, he takes off his, he keeps takes, he keeps taking off his helmet, and you can see his face and his nerdy glasses, and, uh, and that's basically the movie, and, uh, they just, Always through the movie, they're just trying to find out uh, where Lone Star is. They want to steal the air of Planet Juria. You know, they have to find Princess Vespa uh, to kidnap the daughter of uh, King, I guess, the movie, or King Somebody, played by the late Dick Van Patten. And Dom DeLuise, he's the voice of Pizza the Hut. You know, the movie's version of Jabba the Hut. And it had George Weiner, Weiner as Colonel Sanders. As he's funny too. And this this is really a good Mel Brooks classic 80s movie. I don't really own a lot of his other movies. Which I like. Young Frankenstein. High Exotity. Exotity. Robert Hood Man in Tights. Dracula Dead and Loving It. You know. The Producers and on and on and on. Check out uh, Spaceballs. I like the music in this movie. My favorite scene is the end when they... Where um, Long Star hits Dark Helmet in his crotch and in his head. He blows up the button that's supposed to blow up the ship, and everybody's got to get out of there with the song. Where the space balls? Where the space balls? Hey, don't mess around with the space balls. We're so bad at me. We make nightmares out of our dreams because we're the space balls. You say you'd be glad, but believe you can be had by the space ball. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> and not, not too long ago, they had a cartoon series, but it wasn't really a good cartoon. And uh, I like how Princess, uh, not Princess, but Yogurt says we'll all meet again in Space Force 2. The, the search for more money and it didn't happen. I wish there was a sequel to this. Of course, Mel Brooks is sort of like Adam Sandler. He doesn't really do a lot of sequels to his movies. And you can see why sequels are not really good. But I wish this would have been a sequel or something. And I forgot Joan Rivers. The late Joan Rivers. She's a... The C C3 PO. She's a dot, dot matrix. This is this her voice. She's not in the costume. But uh, check out Spaceballs. That's it. For this review please subscribe to my channel you don't have to like me you don't have to respect me just subscribe to my channel and and that'll be our peace baby i'm out because we're the space boss